Hi, this video is about dividing decimals by tens, hundreds and thousands. By the end of this video, you should be able to divide by tens, hundreds and thousands and know the difference between the rule for multiplying and the rule for dividing. So let's take a look at dividing. Just like the last video, I have two things that are important to note for this um, dividing decimals by tens, hundreds and thousands. The first one is that division is the opposite of multiplication. So because of that, whatever rule that we had for multiplication, we're going to have the opposite rule for division. The second thing to note is that when we divide by tens, hundreds and thousands, we will be moving the decimal point, but this time it's going to be to the left for each zero in the question. So as an example, I might have, say, 31.56, and I want to divide that by 10. Now, because I've got one zero in my question that I'm dividing by, I'm going to be taking this decimal point and moving it to the left, moving it back one spot um, between the three and the one. So 31.56 divided by 10 is going to be 3.156. And as another example, if I had 0 0.15 and I wanted to divide it by 100, then this decimal point needs to go back two spots. One, two. And just like multiplying, whenever I jump something that's not there or you know move my decimal point past something that's not there, what we need to do is add zeros in. So this number will be point, point, zero, zero, one, five. Make sure that you don't have two decimal points in your answer. You can only ever have one decimal point. And the technical way to write out this number here would be to have a zero in the units column as well to keep that place value. Let's take a look at three examples in order to see how it works. Okay, here we have three examples that we're dividing by 10, 100, and 1,000. In question number one, I have 21 divided by 10. Now with 21 divided by 10, there's no decimal point, but we remember from the last video, when we have a, we have a whole number, that decimal point is technically straight after the units column. So if we can imagine that it's after the units column, then we need to move it back to the left one spot between the two and the one. So 21 divided by 10 is going to end up being 2.1. For the second example, 315.6 divided by 100. This one's a little bit easier because I need to move my decimal point two spots because there's two zeros to the left for, um, to get my decimal point between my 3 and my 1. So 315.6 divided by 100 is going to be 3.156. Now for my last example, 0 0.9 divided by 1000. I need to move my decimal point back 3 spots to the left. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, and this is where my decimal point is going to end up. I've moved my decimal point past two numbers that aren't actually there, so we need to add in zeros to make sure that we keep that place value. Also, when we're writing our answer, we'll need to make sure that there is a, decim there is a zero before the decimal point. This means that 0 0.9 divided by 1000 is going to give us 0 0.0009. And those are our three examples for you to work off of. So what should you write for this video? Well, the heading dividing decimals by tens, hundreds, and thousands is a good idea. And then having the two important points that division is the opposite of multiplication and the rule when dividing decimals by tens, hundreds, and thousands, we move the decimal point to the left for each zero in the question. Having those two examples in blue is a good start, as well as getting down the three examples that I went through when I was writing it out on my Surface Pro. And that's it. Hopefully now you know the difference between dividing and multiplying decimals by tens, hundreds, and thousands. And if you have any questions, as always, please ask them in class. And good luck.